we got one fast boy, and we got one angry boy. So I'm sure you've heard uh, over the past week that uh, Sega is now acquiring the assets of Rovio, and the partnership will be official by the end of the year. But the question is, why? Why is this a thing? Of all companies for Sega to buy out, if they even buy companies to begin with, why Rovio? The makers of one of the most popular and definitely most iconic mobile game franchises of all time. Get that. Mobile franchises. If you don't know, Sega does do mobile things, but they're not very good. I feel like acquiring Rovio might be a good move. And after hearing, uh, not hearing, after seeing this article from uh, from this publisher, from the... Uh, it's called Observer for some reason. I don't know why. What are they observing? <laughs> From uh, Sega CEO Haruki, uh, Haruki Satomi. I hope I said that correctly. He says this about acquiring Rovio. Among the rapidly growing global gaming market, the mobile gaming market has especially high potential and has been Sega's long-term goal to accelerate its expansion in this field. Combining the strengths of Rovio and Sega presents an incredibly exciting future. Hmm. He's not wrong there. Because let's get it, let's not get it twisted. Sega's uh, output on mobile is poor. The only games that do well on Se uh, Sega Mobile are the all the Sonic games, the Sonic Dash games. Um, and the, the Sonic Classic games, and even uh, Sonic uh, Sonic Forces uh, Speed Battle. Yes, it's now just called Sonic Forces because they want to extinct the original Sonic Forces. But yeah, Sonic Forces Speed Battle is very uh, popular on uh, uh, mobile and is featured so many times on the app of the day for on the App Store for iPhone, which I find incredibly surprising, considering how boring that game is. But acquiring a big asset like Rovio presents Sega with many amazing opportunities to do well. And I feel like they have a good chance of uh, doing that. As long as they're not uh, controlling Rovio and what they want to do, uh, then we're good. As if they're acquiring companies, just how Microsoft acquires companies for the Xbox Game Studios, like they're not interfering with their work, they just let them do their own thing, they just have more money now, then that's perfect, especially for a company like Rovio, who, uh, if they haven't uh, returned back to the Angry Birds formula, they might have been bankrupt by now. So, it's, it's pretty interesting to see how this partnership is going to go, and I'm all here for it. 